practice. Now, of course, I will say if I was a professional chess player today, I would never say this in a million years because now I'm sort of letting Magnus know that in my mind, I don't feel the same way anymore. Let's cover some Magnus videos. So we have some Magnus videos. Um, Magnus is fencing. Oh, is he wearing fencing stuff? Maybe he is. Let me move my cam as well so we can, let, let's put this here. Um, and here we go. Do you adapt your play style depending on the opponent? Um, during games, yeah, a bit. Wait. I think oh, the most it? important thing that I've realized uh, over the years is that people, a lot of people fear me. Uh, and that is something that I've definitely learned to adapt to and to use against uh, people like one, especially once you realize that your opponent is not like mentally prepared to play for a win, uh, then you can take a lot more chances. Uh, not in terms of doing anything crazy, but if you like have a if you have a small position of goal, for instance, and uh, you realize that there is a tactical line that my opponent may go for that may not be favorable for me, but if he doesn't go for it, uh, I will attain my goals, then I probably would risk it in most cases because I'm thinking, yeah, my my opponent is not, is not up for it. Um, in terms of opening choices... So first things first, actually, I think what Magnus is saying here is 100% dead spot on the money. I will say this very clearly. I think he is 100% correct that what he's saying, that people fear him and people try to, try to avoid losing, basically, is absolutely correct. Without a doubt, it is definitely correct. Um, I myself fell victim to this in the past. Now, once again, I'm not a professional chess player, so I can give you guys these insights. Um, but there were times that I played Magnus in various turns when I feeling was just make the draw just make sure you get a draw with the white pieces and that's that so first things first he is absolutely 100 spot on with what he's saying um about 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 this now of course i will say if i was a professional chess player today i would never say this in a million years because now i'm sort of letting magnus know that in my mind i don't feel the same way anymore so if I was actually a pro chess player, I would not be, I would actually not tell you guys any of this. I'd be like, okay, it sounds cool, whatever. Yeah, it's nice, nice video. Nothing to say, nothing to say. Um, but yes, let's keep going. I'm not a professional chess player. I'm sorry, I'm more descendy. You, me you might think I am, but I'm not. I'm a, I'm a streamer first. Mm, I would say not too much, a little bit, but... Wait, sorry, what was the question? Let me I go back. Um, in terms of opening choices, um, I would say not too much. Okay. A little bit, but I've never, I've never been one to think that yeah, I guess a certain position I should, a certain person I should play close positions or open positions. Like I've generally been trying to take the fight to my opponent like I think I can play any position so that's uh, yes um, and this is where I'm going to stop the video for a second point. And I'm going to tell you guys something also very important in terms of what Magus is saying. One big difference between the World Championship match that's going on right now between Dean Loren and if Magus were playing is that I guarantee you, without a doubt, if Magus was if Magus was playing the World Championship, um, let's just assume he was playing Nepo because, of course, if, if uh, he hadn't withdrawn, it would have been Magus versus Nepo. Nepo would have 100% prepared an extremely forcing sharp line against the London system. 100%. He would have played one of the very sharp lines where it gets out to move 20 and it should be close to close to a draw with perfect play. He would have played a sharp line like that because he would have he would have been afraid of Magnus and he would have been afraid that if he just gets to a position, he gets soundly outplayed. Pretty much what Ding did yesterday, in fact, where Ding just outplayed Nepo. There is zero chance Nepo would have allowed that to happen if it was Magnus who he was playing against. He would have looked at one of the very, very sharp lines that's very forcing because he would have known that he'd probably get outplayed by Magnus from just a standard normal position. So this is very, very important to note. So, so that that's fine. But I think yeah, during during games, like sensing your opponent's mental state is um, is very um, is very useful. Uh, for for instance, uh, take my games against Wesley So, uh, especially in 
shorter time controls. You can see that I'm always giving him chances to play uh, risky moves, and he's always, almost never taking them. And this means that uh, I have a massive psychological advantage while playing him. Like the moves that we make are not of different quality. Like he is an amazing player. His um, his understanding is probably not not worse than mine. But I'm able just to push him around because he's not willing to to take. Uh, to take risks and not being able to take, uh, being willing to take risks is an extremely risky strategy because it just, it's just going to, it's just going to mean that you'll get, um, you'll get uh, pushed around and bullied, basically. <laughs> Alright, no comment you guys. Next topic, let's keep going. These things, it's very difficult for me to grasp because when you look at it with an engine, you will not grasp this kind of uh, human emotion. So that's actually, well, that's a difficult thing to grasp when you look at it with an engine because, well, you have to think in these kind of practical terms and that's more and more difficult. So I think yeah, and then, and then, it's very hard. And then these are also like the moves that I'm talking about. Also like both, often both moves will be zero, zero. Mm -hmm. So you don't know mm -hmm. as much. As, mm -hmm. No, if I, I mean, I no he's absolutely right. Now what Magnus is talking about is really, really advanced conceptually. So I'm going to try to pull up a board here. Um, let me change the scene. I'm going to try to give you guys an example of it. So let's just say you, you have, um, let, let me, I'm just using a game board, so it doesn't really matter, but like, I'll give you an example. Let's say you have some situation in, um, let's just say a, an Italian, for example, you, you have some situation where, where basically, um, let's just say you get something like, I'm just going to say a four, a six, knight B two, you have situations, for example, where here one line that I think black can actually play is this H six line with like rookie one knight G four and King H eight followed by H three F five. Now this line at very, very deep depth is very complicated, very unclear what you're playing for. Now you can play as many different ways. Now this is one example of a line that you can play, but another example is for example, after say white goes rookie one, you can also just play rook to E eight knight F one and Bishop E six. And this is also completely fine for black. But the thing is that if you're trying to be stable, you're more likely to play rookie eight and Bishop E six, which is solid versus going for broke with a line like knight g4 rookie knight g4 rookie 2 king h8 h3 and f5 so this is kind of the point of what mag is saying i'm just trying to give you guys an example of a line that is playable versus not playable um but leslie will always pick the line that is more on the positional side and safer so if you're if you actually think that this position with rookie eight if you think this position with rookie eight and say bishop e6 is completely fine for black then if you know your opponent's more likely to play this and not go over the really sharp line with knight g4 and f5 then you're probably happy to play this and give him that opportunity because you know that because he's so risk adverse he's not going to go into that variation so th this is just one basic example of what i'm trying to say where you have multiple lines that are completely fine uh, and I know the computer at lower depth gives white a big advantage, but just ignore that. Um, where like rookie eight and bishop e6 is completely solid, but knight g4 is actually objectively, it's it's much more complicated and you can have any any number of three results. So that's the thing. Um, now, if your opponent knows the sharp line, that's also possible, but it's just an example of where there are like the multiple moves that are playable, but you're always going to trend towards the safer one. So for Magus, if, he, if he's happy with the position in the safer variation, then he's willing to go towards that. And he's willing to give, give Wesley the chance to play that. And he knows Wesley's not going to play the other variation. So back to the interview, let's keep going. Let me change the scene, of course. And here we go. I just plow through the game in one, two minutes with an engine. You don't grasp this thing as, and, uh... Yeah, not bad. So, okay, I, that was a very, very good video. Um, uh, yeah, very, very good stuff. Um, no, I think what Magnus says overall here, I completely agree with. I think it's all very, very, um, it's very, very spot on for the most part. Now, Wesley, the only problem with Magnus talking about Wesley here in the context that he does is that Wesley did demolish Magnus in the... Um, in the 960 match they played in Norway a couple of years ago uh, in, in the 960 World Championship match. So that is the one thing that I think is worth noting. Um, so overall, I, I think what, what Magnus says is absolutely correct. Um, I, I think it, it, it makes sense. I think everyone has been afraid of him for many years. Everyone sees him as this, like, this god, the guy who plays perfect chess. You have to be so careful to not make a mistake, not blunder. And I, I think that's slowly starting to fade a little bit, primarily because now with all the online events... Um, you, you see Magnus looking human. Magnus plays title Tuesday, loses to some random FM, mouse slips, does all these different things, and you start to feel like he's actually human. So things have changed uh, quite a bit in general terms. I would say that. 
Um, all right, so let's let's watch one more of these videos from 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 this Offer Spill channel. Okay.